great way to start your Kiwis career. Yeah, you know, not a bad way to start with a, uh, with a good win uh, in a black and white jersey, you know. Um, you know, just go out there and um, being in a black and white jersey, you know, is probably the pr proudest moment of my career and you know, that's one I'll cherish for the rest of my um, footy days. So, yeah, um, I, know I was hoping to score a try, but nah, nah, but really, but, you know, all the boys, credit to all the boys going out there and uh, doing the job, but um, you know, credit also to Kangaroo players for doing the um, uh, doing, doing the country good too, uh, especially with the amount of players that's pulled out. So, yeah, still pretty good. You've been in the environment for 2012. It's, it's taken a while to get to this point. So, how, how happy are you and how satisfied are you that it's uh, how we got there? You know, the wait, the wait's worth it. Uh, the wait's, uh, oh, it's worth the wait, you know. Um, you know, just, oh, I, you know, I knew my time would come, but I just didn't know when, you know. Um, but when, um, Mooks gave me the opportunity, you know, I, I took it with both hands and, um, you know, I hope I did everyone proud. You finished strongly to the, the Cowboys season, it seemed to have just maintained that despite the time off. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, the NRL career, uh, NRL season finished um, a lot earlier, you know, a lot of boys tend to go, um, you know, go on a bit of a holiday and, you know, take time off, but, um, you know, when Mooks gave me that phone call, you know, like I was always at tra I was training every day, you know, I wanted to make the most of an opportunity playing for New Zealand and um, I hope I did that. Was it as tough as you expected? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, it's a lot quicker than a uh, normal NRL game, but, you know, the intensity there is, uh, you know, it never, it never um, dropped, so, you know, it was like pretty much another game of origin, but uh, just international. Go back a couple of years and there's those couple of weeks there where you're tossing up between Queensland and Kiwis and you obviously made the choice to go with your heart here. This must you, what do you think when you look back on that time? Uh, probably a look back at it is probably the best decision I've ever made, you know, um, staying solid with the black and white and, uh, you know, I guess it paid off today, you know, uh, Mook's giving me a run, so, you know, full credit to the coaching staff for, uh, uh, you know, giving me the black and white jersey. Were you nervous out there? Uh, yeah, it was, you know, warm up was, you know, uh, when I was driving across the field, you know, looking around, you know, the atmosphere out there, and the crowd, you know, just cheering, uh, you know, just gave me goosebumps and, you know, it was like debuting for, uh, for the first time in the NRL and, and yeah, but like uh, obviously I knew what to do and uh, just went out there and done my job. Oh uh, yeah, you know, especially with the caliber players that uh, we have in our squad with Greg Eastwood, you know, coming off a grand final and uh, you know uh, other boys on the bench. Uh, oh, they didn't get a play, uh, get a, didn't get a game uh, like Bodine Thompson and that, you know. Um, but yeah. Uh, obviously, um, Stephen Kearney's um, trusted me um, uh, starting, I guess, and uh, I hope I made most of my opportunities. Jason, do you think the move to lock in the last few rounds of the season was the key to getting into the New Zealand team? Uh, I have no idea, really, but uh, you know, every time I take the field, I always try. I always give my best, and um, you know, I just try to do my try to try to do my job on the field, and um, hopefully, the other boys uh, do that too. And um, you know, but credit to the boys and the Cowboys, you know. I guess I wouldn't be here with the um, with them helping me, you know, propelling me to this uh, black and white jersey.